Characteristics of Sound Objective To learn the characteristics of sound Sound is propagated through a medium by a back and forth vibration of the particles. In air, sound travels in the form of longitudinal waves. Sound waves need a medium to travel and they cannot pass through vacuum. As the tines of a tuning fork vibrate back and forth, they will disturb the air molecules surrounding them. These disturbances are passed on to adjacent air molecules. The continuous vibration of the tines create a series of compressions and rarefactions. The sound waves travel in the same direction as that of air particles. For this reason, they are known as longitudinal waves. Two of the major characteristics of sounds are its frequency or pitch and its amplitude or loudness. The number of complete back and forth vibrations of a particle of the medium per unit of time is known as the frequency of waves. In other words, frequency is the number of waves reaching an observer every second. Frequency is measured in hertz or cycles per second. The frequency of waves does not change regardless of the medium. The human ear can perceive sounds in the range between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz frequency. Sounds at frequencies less than 20 Hz are infrasonic, while sounds at frequencies greater than 20,000 Hz are ultrasonic. The perception of frequency is commonly referred to as pitch. A sound with a higher frequency is said to have a high pitch or what we would describe as shrillness. On the other hand, a low frequency sound has a low pitch. A sound wave's amplitude is the height between the topmost part of the wave or the peak and the bottommost part of the wave or the trough. When the amplitude is high, the sound will be louder. The loudness of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude and is measured in decibels, dB. Summary Sound travels in the form of longitudinal waves. Frequency is the number of waves reaching an observer every second. Amplitude is the height between the peak and trough of the sound wave. 